Okay, so <laughs> I am Barb King with Pet Subscription Boxes, and this is Lisa Spector, and she's going to give us a concert tonight and a little chat about um, calming music for dogs. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Barb. This is my 12-year-old Black Lab next to me. I don't think you can see her now, maybe a little bit. I can see her. <laughs> okay, great. So this is Gina. <laughs> And she's my agility partner as well. So it sounds like I'm in the right place for that, <laughs> for that too. And I am a professional pianist. I went to Juilliard. And when I went to Juilliard, if someone had told me that I was going to be someday playing and recording music for dogs, I would have thought they were crazy. But I joke that my Juilliard degree has gone to the dogs and I couldn't be more thrilled. It's better than Carnegie Hall. My music is playing in over 1500 shelters worldwide where it's increasing adoption rates. That's better than Carnegie Hall. So I love using my music talents to help improve the lives of dogs and hopefully yours. So how did this all come about? It was 2003, so it was a long time ago. And I, at the time I owned a music school in my town of Half Moon Bay, California. And I was a volunteer puppy raiser in those days for guide dogs for the blind. And I had a four month old puppy who was, you know, guide dogs are raised to be mellow, but four month old yellow um, puppies are pretty rambunctious. So he was rambunctious and I had all a range of students. And I remember my four year old class, about eight, eight four year olds in this class. And I started learning, started studying different prescriptions of music that would help calm and focus them. And I found music that was like, worked like a charm. I would play it when they were coming in. They, they weren't even aware of it. I'd have it on the stereo. And 30 seconds later, they'd be chilled out. The previous week without the music, they'd be like, you know, they're so excited and they're screaming and they're running and music's playing, they're chilled out. I look down next to me and it was in a crate, but all of a sudden my, four month old rambunctious puppy was snoozing. Like, and I looked at the kids and said, that's great. And I looked at the dog and like, I think I'm onto something here. <laughs> so I started experimenting with different music and I started uh, reaching out and I ended up working with a veterinary neurologist and a sound researcher. And the veterinary neurologist is so funny because yesterday I have my own club, the Dog on Calm Club, and she was our guest expert Tuesday, two days ago. And, um, but she did the sound research study, meaning she tested, we recorded four hours of different kinds of music and tested it in the shelter environment. Now, it, that this is a long time ago, this is 2005, in the days that there had been so little research. In 2001, there was one study by uh, an Irish behaviorist, Deborah Wells, and she did in San Francisco actually in a shelter testing classical music, control group, and no sound, jazz, rap, and pop, I think was the other, and wanted to see if it calmed dogs in the shelter environment. It didn't surprise me at all that classical music calmed dogs. The challenge is classical music is an enormous term. It covers 400 to 600 years. It's solo instrument, it's 140 piece orchestra. It's high frequency instrument, violin, it's low frequency cello. It's a variety of things. So when people oftentimes in those days said, well, I play the classical music radio station for dogs, that's a start, that's a good start. But I can tell you at in those days when we, you know, it was a program time, you turn on the radio and everyone heard the same thing at the same time. At three in the afternoon, they were playing music to charge the human nervous system, not discharge the canine nervous system. So a lot of classical music is loud. If it's a Mahler, if it's 1812 Overture, it's loud and it it's, would be startling to dogs. So I have found the, the right prescription of music that works to calm dogs and even relieve anxiety issues. And so that experience, I ended up selling music school because I got so busy for a 10 year career, uh, 10 year plus now that I've gone on, but at the time, 10 years with my first company, I was the founder, co-founder of Through a Dog's Ear and the pianist in that 16 CD series for album series for dogs and cats. Um, I sold my interest in my non-compete recently ended and I've now started my Zen Pet Music for Pet Stress, where I curate the right prescription of music, starting with dogs, 
that helps relieve separation anxiety, sound phobias, hyperactivity, excessive barking, aggression issues, basic, they're all the same because they all have to do with stress. So when you can calm the canine nervous system, keep the dog under the stress threshold with such a natural remedy that can never be harmful, that is essentially free because it's streaming. And, and you know, I always say there is never one thing that works on every dog. If anyone tells you, I've got the solution for every single dog, it, that doesn't exist. Every dog is different and every dog actually has different music purposes possibly as well. Um, but this has worked on, on a lot, like over 90% of the dogs who have used it. And I am now creating music that is effective at calming both ends of the leash because it is so important because you know that your dogs pick up on your energy and that is transferred down to the end of the leash, whether they're unleashed or not. And I was telling Barb before everyone got on that, by the time this comes to the end of the week and I'm doing these concerts, I think I, I, it looks like I'm doing it for your dogs. I'm equally doing it for me because I, I need the quiet time. I need the um that really calming centered place now what is it about this music that's different so one is it is solo instrument that has access to lower frequencies lower frequencies that the piano plays that cello can play that um uh guitar can play and harp can play lower frequencies over and over have been proven to calm the canine nervous system a lot of your sports people and you know that when you call your dog and you want your from your let's say it's agility and you want your dog to come fast on a dime on an agility field and they're about to take the tunnel you don't want them to take the tunnel you go into high frequency I just did it instinctively. My voice went higher. High frequency short staccato in music terms we call them staccato. Ignore this, but I would her name is Gina on, on agility. I call her G. So I say G here, really high. Good girl. <laughs> she loved to help, but she ignored it. If I want to say the opposite, I'm gonna go into a lower voice, and you you just do this without thinking about lower voice, long legato sounds. Good girl. Where those are long, smooth sounds. You can hear a lot of that in the piano music I'm playing. So a lot of this is natural, um, but this is how the music that I've curated comes about. I'm starting with a piece for Left Hand Only by Vivaldi that was originally written for a violin. It's very famous, you probably know it, it's from Four Seasons violin and string orchestra. Well, violin is a beautiful instrument, but it's a very high frequency instrument. You don't want that for, for calming your dog. This is arranged, my own arrangement for left hand only. Two reasons I'm playing for left hand only some of this music tonight is because one, lower frequencies that my left hand plays like down here are calming to the canine nervous system, but also for two years, I couldn't use my right hand at the piano because I broke my hand so severely. Seven fractures needing four surgeries. The last surgery, the fourth surgery was just exactly two years ago. I was told I would never play with two hands. That did not, I am playing with two hands. I could play full concerts of much more challenging music with two hands and I'm thrilled. But I still go back to the left hand only. I start my albums with this. This is a theme for my podcast because lower frequencies calm the canine nervous system. Now, I'm gonna stay slow, slow tempo. I, it's not excessively slow. It's not even as slow as the original music I recorded with through a ear because more current research actually shows that slow down tempo and lower frequencies, but not excessively slow, um, is actually more conducive to calming dogs in the shelter environment where a lot of the testing is. And because I wanted it for both ends of the leash, I want it to be calming for you, but not necessarily put you to sleep. It might, everyone's energy level is different. If you start snoozing, if your dog starts snoozing to this, this is a compliment. So don't worry about it. If, you're, if this makes you sleepy, it's a compliment. It's really a compliment if your dog starts snoring. And so I start with lower frequencies and you've probably noticed that when you're, um, when, if your dog has a reactive, if your dog is inside and is really, really calm and everything's fine, and then the doorbell rings in a second, they're like excited, barking, whatever it is, right? It doesn't take 
that's a new stimuli coming into your environment. That if you had this music playing during that, it's not that they're not gonna bark, it's not that they're not gonna get up and be excited, but it just would keep them under the stress threshold, keep them a little bit calmer. And um, what I found with music is that sometimes it's helpful to start with the lower frequencies because assuming nothing new comes into your environment tonight i'm not going to go into fast music but i'm going to keep i'm going to go into two hands because i'm assuming nothing there is coming into the environment and they will stay calm so i uh am ready to start the music and before i do i wonder if anyone who is here does have any questions before i do start the program and the way this is going to work by the way is that um we decided once I start playing, I'm not going to talk in between because I want your dogs to chill out, whether you're listening live or later. And once they're chilled out, the voice could actually have them get on alert and start listening. So I want them to just completely zone out. And so I don't know. At the end, um, you'll probably talk a bit again and and answer questions as well. Yeah. Yeah. So does anybody have any questions? There's a chat thing you can type in, or if you want to unmute yourself, you can unmute and ask. See, we have a few people, but everybody's shy. <laughs> Nobody has video on. <laughs> you can if, video on your dogs. <laughs> right, if your reception is strong enough and you can put the camera on your dogs, you get bonus points for that. <laughs> When I do these for my club, that's what they all do. It's like the cameras are only on their dogs. Yeah, I'll I'll put the camera on my dogs once you start playing because I like I told you earlier, and those people that know my dogs, they will just maul me while <laughs> while we talk. So they're locked. They want your now. attention, <laughs> right? Exactly. Got it. <laughs> so if we're um, should I just go ahead and start with the music? Yeah, might as well go ahead and start. I will mute myself as well and go off my video and put the dogs on. <laughs> Great. And if anyone, um, if anyone wants to know what the program is, I can send that to Barb afterwards so she can get out to you too. Okay. Great. Oh, um, so we do have one comment from Lou. She says, reception is poor, so no video. Dogs are already sleeping. <laughs> Good, so we'll just keep them asleep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Girl, I don't know if you heard Gina snoring over here. <laughs> the last one was purposely a little more lively, a little faster, a little more complications, so that to um, to if you're listening live, to bring you out of maybe a stupor a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'd love to know if anyone wants to post a comment how your dogs did during that. Well, I will say for me, I let the dogs in. I made the mistake of making eye contact. <laughs> and that was it. They're like, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> so I had to kick them out again. <laughs> Could they hear it, do you think, from the room they were in? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're just yeah. great beside. So they're Good. passed out now. <laughs> but, Fantastic. Um, That's the whole point. <laughs> I know it works. Um, Toby's reactive to thunder and things like that. And we had a thunderstorm the other night so I put it on and she just settled in and we went to fantastic <laughs> so yeah. actually that brings up a point I wanted to mention it's best every dog is different so it's there's never any one thing that works for every dog but it is best to actually use the music like classical conditioning in other words it's best 
if you can to play it before get them used to it the music that they build an association that the music means to be calm so bedtime might be a good time to play it for like a week before thunderstorms come in, just because you don't, it does sometimes work. I know people in the download days when people are like, I've tried everything else. I, there's a thunderstorm. I'm just going to download this music and it worked. But other times it does help to build a conditioning response to that. Yeah. Uh, we have Lou asking if she can get a copy of this to play before her next trial entry. <laughs> You can, so Gina listens to it in her crate, you know, while she's at Agility. And you can, so uh, if you stream your music, so maybe Barb, you can drop the link to streaming. And um, also if you don't stream, post a comment in the chat and then I can later send you a link where you could purchase the digital download. But this is actually not a purchase. This is the group, there's a coupon code for that. Yeah, right. so yeah. if you were, I've got two groups in here right now, but if you're a subscriber for our September 2021 box, I'm saying, cause I know this is gonna be saved. <laughs> um, you would have received the download for free. So that's an $18 US value. Get it while you can. Um, I know a lot of people stream, but I know like where we live, you might go camping and there's no cell signal or five minutes out of town, you have no signal. So having it, um, download it on your phone for those opportunities is good as well. And, really and, you know power. <laughs> and I can even, I think for even anyone watching later, they could just hold their phone up to this. This, oh, sorry, wrong side, that's my podcast. So this is the digital download by streaming. And this is the QR code for the, um, for the digital download with a coupon code, which is uh, they have it if they're in that subscription box. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is I also have a podcast. This is a QR code for my Zen Pat, the podcast. And in every, it's a micro podcast, meaning they're all about 10 minutes or less. And in every episode, every Friday episode is a music track by itself from Doggone Calm Volume 1 and Volume 2 coming out. And on Mondays is actually Meditation Monday. So it's a meditation to do with your pet or about your pet. They vary. And then it's set to the music of Dog Gone Calm. Cool. Yeah, I'll put all these links once we upload this into the membership. I'll put all the links in there too so people can grab them. Fabulous. Fabulous. Great. Great. So, um, so, and so it has worked in the past for dogs with all of those anxiety issues, pretty much anything that comes from stress. So if you think of like separation anxiety, you do want to play it at first for a week or so when you're with your dog, you know, associate, build association, it means calming and try and play it, you know, not right when you're leaving the door, but ahead of time, the way you would, just the same way you would change up your patterns to not always, you know, pick up your keys and the dog associates you're leaving to pick up your keys and sit in the chair, you know, mix up the patterns and don't always play it right when you're leaving the door. At this, so that helps as well. Cool. Lou said that her dog Puck slept until you started talking again. <laughs> exactly. Good. You know what? I forgot to have you ask them to take pictures of the dog while they were <laughs> listening to. If anyone took a picture, I'd love to see that I can post it and tag you on Instagram. Facebook. <laughs> to forget to ask you them. don't want the pictures of my dogs going what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right so what are what are how many i see that uh, lou and ken are here and barb has two dogs so how many dogs did i just play for a live in other words how many dogs do each of you have so lou has two um belgian i always say it wrong terms <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kathleen, if that's the one I'm thinking of, she's got one dog. Kenda, I'm not sure. You can type in or unmute if you want to chat. Uh, there was somebody else up here, but I don't see them now. <laughs> okay, so that's at least six dogs, if, assuming that Kenda has one dog, <laughs> including <laughs> Gina, who got it all right. <laughs> all right. Cool. Um, I also have a club called the Dog Gone Calm Club, where I do these 
monthly. So I do these doggone calm concerts monthly. And I, it is, um, right now we have 33 dogs in the club. I count it by dogs because there's a lot of multi pet <laughs> households, <laughs> not aquarium accounts. And um, we do this monthly. I have a guest expert monthly, everything from a separation anxiety specialist to yesterday, I mentioned I had the, the research, the veteran neurologist who's very now into um, alternative therapies and said, oh my God, this really helpful whole list of alternative therapies for anxiety issues in addition to canine music therapy. Cool. <laughs> yes, we'll have to check that out Great. <laughs> closer. And I wonder if there's any music, any like once your dogs were chilled tonight during the concert, like do they stay chilled? Um, until I started talking, it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mine are still sleeping in the other room. <laughs> When I do this live, live, like I've done this pre-pandemic when there were dogs in the room, big room and lots of people. And I, you know, when I got done with a piece, it was, I would ask people to just do this rather than applause because live particularly, and the dogs are, pre, you know, a lot of dogs in the room, you clap and they're just, they're all up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one time I actually appreciate not getting applause. <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions? Um, if you are watching this later, maybe um, put your questions into the uh, portal that we have and I can see if Lisa can answer anything else for you um, at a later date, but. Yeah, I'd be very happy to answer anything else later. I'm not a trainer, but I have an agility handler. I have a lot of training experience. But, you know, people do ask me about, you know, sometimes it gets too much and I can always refer you to someone else in terms of training issues. But in terms of how do you use the music, there's also a, um, it's not going to be there long though. There is a training uh, link on myzenpet.com. The reason it's not going to be there is I'm changing that into the, you have to opt into the, to be a subscriber to get that in the future so that's going to be mixed up very soon <laughs> <laughs> great so yeah i don't see any more questions but thank you very much i totally enjoyed that <laughs> good well it was good for me i needed it by this other way hopefully the people did lou and kenda i think someone else is also here um i hope it was good for your end of the leash, Kathleen, as well as your dogs too. And it's, and it is something so easy to just enjoy it together, like make a nightly routine of 15 minutes of just snuggle time, listen together, your dog will thank you for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, thank you. We will let you I'm ready to go to bed, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, good. This was a good time then. <laughs> good. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to connecting with anyone after as well, too. And um, thank you for listening to this Dog Gone Calm concert. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thanks so much. Okay.